Hello my friends, this is Susan with Suzy Quilts. It is Tuesday, April the 12th, and I hope that all of you are happy and healthy and been crafting your little hearts out this week. Um, I sort of have been. After finishing up those two quilts for my nieces, I decided that it was time to make another quilt top. So, I made a little quilt top, and you can see some of the fabrics here. I'm not going to open it all the way up because I just don't have room to. But it's a real simple top made with 5-inch squares, a charm pack, and I can't remember what you call it, but the small jelly roll, the one and a half inch strips, um, honey bun, I think it is, isn't it? Anyway, so I made that, and that has no purpose yet. I think it's going to be a Linus quilt, though, so that will be my first full Linus project for the year. Um, next, I decided it was time to get caught up with my favorite things. And so I did. Here are my scissors. Is that not the coolest design? I love that. Um, then I have my rotary cutter. Um, again, that design. Jennifer is just beyond. And then I have my glue. So as you can see, I'm trying to use all bright colors in my my quilt um and after i finished those i thought shoot i want to do some more paper piecing so i looked back through my patterns and i found a pattern that i bought a couple of years ago off of craftsy now i'm not as much into the traditional blocks um and i really haven't seen any sampler quilts that spoke to me until I saw this one. And what it did was it included my love of paper piecing with the traditional blocks. And as you all probably know by now, I'm talking about Jennifer's vintage paper piecing quilt. So, um, and it was funny because I found this and I bought it before I knew anything about Jennifer or So Hooked or fandom in stitches or anything so i bought this and now i'm finally working on it so here's my first block and as you can see i'm do i've always wanted a blue and yellow quilt and i've just never made one so this is going to be it and my second block oops it was upside down does that matter <laughs> <laughs> Not with this one. And then the third block, which was kind of a killer, <laughs> with 85 pieces in it. But it turned out really rather well, I think. Um, it's beautiful. So, there you have it. And to that end, a, few, a couple of years ago, I had also bought some yellow and blue fat quarter uh, bundle, a yellow and blue fat quarter bundle, and I'll probably end up using some of these fabrics in um, borders and whatnot, sashings, and here's one. I think this will set off those pretty well. There's the second one that probably won't get used because it's too much like the fabric in the quilt it's uh, in the pieces here's one that I really like this will probably be one of the borders and or this one that I also really like um, then there's this one that will probably be sashings maybe and the last one will not get used because it too is too much like the fabric in the quilt it's the quilt blocks themselves so i'm i'm probably going to use these small and medium print um for the sashings and the borders 
and I think that's going to look really good against these blocks and, and the colors. So, I have my plans in place. Now if I can just get some more another ink cartridge so that I can print out some more patterns, I'll be going gung-ho on that. Um, see what else? I think that's all I've gotten done this week. And except for one thing. And you will... I'm not going to show it to you. Not now. Not ever. This is a quilt that I'm using as my practice quilt for learning how to um, do meander quilting and other free motion quilting. And it's a quilt top that I made a while back and it's just a rail fence quilt top. And I never did like it. So I thought what better use can it serve than to be my practice quilt. Well, I need a lot of practice, I'll tell you that right now. I um, Some of my stitches are a quarter of an inch or more wide, and where I was going faster with my hands than the machine was going, and others are just the opposite. They're teeny tiny right next to each other stitches where my hands weren't going as fast as the machine. So I'm going to have to get that sorted. Um, and let's see what else. Uh, I also need to get used to, if I'm doing meandering stitches, I need to get to where I'm not crossing over lines and so forth. And if I'm doing the rolly stitches, I need to not turn them too quickly or make sharp points where I don't, I'm not wanting to. So... I got a lot that I need to learn, and this is the, the quilt that I'm learning it on. And like I said, you will never ever see it unless I get fairly proficient at it and can show you the before and after part of the quilt. <laughs> um, but I seem to be getting just a little bit better as I go along. But we'll see. Every little bit helps. And I guess that's it for this week. Uh, I've rambled on enough, and... I look forward to seeing all of your videos this week. Um, you guys are just amazing and talented and such an inspiration to me. And I really, really appreciate your videos every single week and your comments that you make on mine. So, for now, I will be watching you and commenting on your videos, and I will see you next Tuesday. Bye-bye.